The force index is a zero line cross volume indicator created in 1993 by Alexander Elder. The force index is most commonly used with a 13 period exponential moving average. It is an MT4 and MT5 standard indicator and can be found in the oscillators group. You don't need to download anything. The moving average should be changed from simple to exponential when deploying the indicator. This chart shows the force index alone, so you can see what it looks like and how it works without being distracted by other indicators. The force index should not be used alone, but must be used as part of an indicator-based trading system. I'll stop talking for five seconds to let you see the indicator versus the price action. You can pause the video if you need more time. The force index is frequently partnered with Keltner channels. The force index being a zero line cross, we take longs only above the zero line and shorts only below the zero line. The potential trap here is getting caught in trading ranges and consolidations. The force index alone does not provide sufficient information with which to enter a trade. The most common and correct way to use the force index is to confirm trends and breakouts. The force index therefore is both a volume and a confirmation indicator. It should not be used as the primary indicator to enter trades. Divergence traders use the force index similarly to the RSI to look for turning points and call reversals. If price is rising and the force index is declining, this is a bearish divergence suggesting a drop in price is coming. If price is falling and the force index is rising, this is a bullish divergence suggesting an increase in price is coming. You can see here a divergence that failed to materialize. In my opinion, the RSI trendline violation is a much better tool for divergence trading. While trendline violation can be used with the force index, I don't think it would be effective here. The RSI is a momentum indicator, whereas force measures volume. I think divergence traders should stick with the RSI and pass this one over. Some traders use extreme readings as overbought and oversold signals. This is not an effective use of the force index, in my opinion. The force index does not have defined overbought and oversold levels like the RSI does. Traders need to understand that reversal doesn't just mean price reversing direction. Most times, trend exhaustion leads to consolidation, sideways choppy price action. The transition to consolidation is a form of reversal. That is what you see here when the force index hits its highest highs and lowest lows. Price consolidates every time. Entering trades at the extremes is a great way to lose money. Nor are extreme readings a reliable exit indication. The bulls or bears can always reassert control till they finally get exhausted. That's what's happening in the boxed areas below. Don't try to get fancy with the force index. Trade it as it was designed to be traded. Identify the trend or breakout with your primary trend indicator and use the force index for confirmation.